A former worker for an immigrant shelter in Arizona is charged with 11 sex offenses after he was accused of molesting eight unaccompanied boys in his care. A new report by ProPublica highlights the allegations against Levian Pacheco. The alleged abuse took place over about a year at a shelter run by Southwest Key near Phoenix. Don Daler shows us how the organization has faced other incidents of alleged abuse. Don, good morning. Good morning. Southwest Key is the largest organization the U.S. government contracts to house immigrant children and has eight shelters in Arizona alone. It's now coming under intense scrutiny for repeated incidents of sexual abuse happening to young immigrant children in their care at several shelters. One of the boys decided to speak up about what had happened to him. Uh, and then it was kind of a snowfall where uh, another boy, the roommate, spoke up. That it also happened to him. Michael Graybell is one of the ProPublica reporters who uncovered the details of abuse at the Southwest Key Shelter. Levian Pacheco, who is HIV positive, was indicted for engaging in sexual acts with at least eight boys between August 2016 and July 2017 at Casa Cocapelli in Mesa, Arizona. All the children were between 15 and 17 years old. It's very common for victims of abuse to not come forward. Uh, to be afraid to come forward. And especially in this population, there is this fear that if you come forward and report abuse, it might affect your immigration case. On Tuesday, another Southwest Key worker, Fernando Negrete, was arrested and later fired after allegedly molesting a 14 year old immigrant girl at a facility in Phoenix. In a statement, Southwest Key said, We educate every minor in our care of their right to be free from abuse. Any employee accused of abuse is immediately suspended and law enforcement called. I think the best way to um, describe them is to be more like a summer camp. Following backlash over the Trump administration's child separation policy, officials defended the use of the detention facilities as safe spaces. These shelters were never intended to be long term group homes. And we've heard from various officials, various psychologists, that the longer the kids are in the shelter, the more time there is for inappropriate relationships to develop. The Department of Health and Human Services told us they have removed all kids from the Casa Cocapella shelter and that any allegation of abuse or neglect is taken seriously and appropriate action is taken. Pacheco's attorney did not respond to our request for comment, but in an email to the Associated Press said, we are looking forward to defending Mr. Pacheco in court. He has pleaded not guilty and will be in court later this month. Very disturbing. Deeply, yes. deeply disturbing story about a deeply disturbing issue. Thank you, Don. Sure.